Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team. And in this video, I'm very excited to show you the new features in Oxygen 3.2 Alpha 1. 3.2 Alpha 1 includes a few quality of life improvements as well as one new element. Let's jump into the quality of life improvements and I'll just go over them very quickly. We've included Font Awesome 5, the free version, in Oxygen, so you'll have access to many new icons directly within the builder by using the icon element. We've also added the ability to set global line heights for headings. Uh, this can be found under Manage, Settings, Global Styles, Headings. And we've also changed the behavior of a security feature in Oxygen. Some of you may be familiar with this, where if you had a short code, that had an invalid signature, you would see a red error box on your site, uh, either in the builder or on the front end. This behavior has been changed. Now that warning is no longer shown on the front end unless you enable that specific behavior. Instead, it will be shown via an admin notice in the WordPress admin panel. Now let's take a look at the new element introduced in Oxygen 3.2 Alpha 1. This element is called the Pro Menu Element, and it is a menu element very similar to the one you're familiar with, but with some notable improvements. As you can see here, I'm hovering over a parent link, and it has a custom icon that rotates on hover, and the drop down is actually animated in using animate on scroll animations. This is all set up with a single element using WordPress menus and with no custom code or CSS. If we jump over to the software item, you'll see that we also have sub menus, which are also animated and using the same settings. Now this is all great, but most people who have used Oxygen's menu element are more concerned with the mobile behavior. So let's take a look at that. I've narrowed my screen and now you can see we have an icon with a label. This is new with the Pro Menu element. You can change the icon to whatever you'd like, and you can also change the label text to whatever you would like. Now, if we click this, we're gonna see that it's an off-canvas mobile menu, uh, which animates in using Animate on Scroll animations. And as you can see here, we also have drop-downs. So let's jump down to the drop-downs and take a look at how those behave. If we click the icon, which also rotates on hover, we will have a toggle effect, which brings the child elements into view. This works on multi-level dropdowns as well. And again, all of this is set up with absolutely no custom code, no custom CSS, all completely with Oxygen's GUI using the pro menu element. Now let's jump over to the back end and take a look at all the options available. So as you can see here, we have the menu selector, which lets us select which menu from WordPress we want to display. Uh, we have the mobile menu toggle below uh, selector, which lets us choose at which breakpoint the uh, menu switches to a mobile toggle. Now let's jump down to desktop menu and look at the options. We can change the orientation between horizontal and vertical. We can change the typography of the link items here under the text submenu. And under spacing, we can change the link item padding and the link item margin. Now let's take a look at hover and active. These are all the settings you would expect. Uh, the hover background color, hover border top, hover border bottom, active text color, active background color, etc. Now let's jump back up to the primary tab and look at desktop dropdown options. You can use this checkbox to enable dropdowns, which most folks will do, uh, but it is optional if you want to disable dropdowns. Uh, you can change the border radius of the dropdown container. You can change the animation type, and you can choose from any uh, animate on scroll animation that's included with oxygen. You can change the box shadow of the dropdown. You can also uh, change the dropdown icon, which we talked about briefly. Uh, this allows you to use any icon you'd like. Uh, to indicate elements that have drop-down menus. And you can also change the drop-down colors here. Uh, you can change the hover background color, link color, hover text color, etc. Finally, you can adjust the drop-down child link uh, padding and typography. Now let's jump back over and take a look at the mobile menu settings. Uh, this is where you can adjust the open icon layout, which includes choosing the icon, 
the uh, label next to the icon. The icon size, icon color, pretty much anything you would want to tweak on that open icon. Uh, you can also change the typography of the icon label under the open icon typography submenu. And then close the icon layout has a lot of the same settings except for you can adjust the position top and position left of the close icon since it's positioned absolutely. And then we have close icon typography which is the same settings as open icon typography. It's just for the close icon. And then we have menu styles. This is where you can choose to have an off canvas menu or not. If it's deselected, uh, this box isn't checked, it'll act like the old menu element does and the mobile menu will be a full screen menu. But if we check it, we get the option to position the mobile menu off canvas, uh, left, right, top or bottom. And we also get to choose an off canvas animation, which again, these animations come from animate on scroll. So any animate on scroll animation that's available in oxygen can be used for the off canvas animation. And then you can, of course, change the background color, link text color, link hover color, link padding, and container padding. Now let's go back here to mobile dropdowns. And here you can choose to hide mobile dropdowns. You can choose to show them in line, or you can choose a new option, which is to toggle them. Uh, and this is the behavior we saw on the front end here. You can also change the animation duration. Finally, if we jump back to the primary tab, you're going to see this preset section here. You can type a preset name and click Save Preset. And what that does is it saves all the settings you've set in the GUI as a preset for this element. And it can be used on other pro menu elements by choosing it from the Apply Preset dropdown. The goal here is that we will ship some presets with the pro menu element that will allow you to get some really nice looking menus quickly without having to dig through all the configuration options of the pro menu element because it is a very configurable element which can become quite complex if you start digging through all the different settings and changing everything. So we're trying to avoid folks having to do too much customization unless they want to. We want to allow that option. Uh, but if you just need something quick and easy, you can choose a preset and apply it to the element. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is breakpoints. As you can see here, this list is a little bit different than what you're used to. We've got 1272 pixels for the page container, which you've always been able to change that, so that's not impressive. But then you have less than 1120, less than 882, and less than 678, which are all arbitrary numbers. But the point is, they're custom. So if we go to Manage, Settings, Global Styles, you'll find a menu item called Width and Breakpoints. This is previously where you set your page width value. And now you set your page width, but you can also set the tablet breakpoint, landscape breakpoint, and portrait breakpoint. Uh, this allows you to use custom breakpoints and gives you a lot more configurability in the way that you make your site adapt to various devices. Now these still behave the same way as the previous breakpoints in that page width is an at or below media query. Uh, tablet, landscape, and portrait are a below media query. So if you let set this uh, tablet to 1120, then it'll kick in at 1119, so on and so forth. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 3.2 Alpha 1. Thank you very much for watching.